Bears. How about the hammer? Matt Hamill, he's going to try to slow this meteoric rise of John Jones looking to reign supreme tonight here in Las Vegas. Upstate New Yorkers John Jones and Matt Hamill first made their names in the athletic world as collegiate wrestling champions. But this isn't a wrestling match. And with both rising stars coming off big finishes in their most recent fights, you can expect fireworks. This fight has the potential to be an absolute battle, an all-out slugfest. But I'm looking to get in there and get out, get that first round knockout. My goal went to being in the top 10 fighters in the world. And, and I could feel I could be anyone, including Sean Jones. Just 22 years old, Johnny Bones Jones has captured the imagination of the fight world in three UFC fights thanks to his unorthodox techniques, flair for the exciting, and unparalleled athleticism. Tonight, he shoots for octagon win number four against Matt Hamill. Tonight is just a big opportunity for me to shock the world. Uh, I want to show everyone what I could do and give them a devastating knockout. A pro since 2005, Matt Hamill has gotten progressively better each time he steps into the octagon. And in his last two fights, the former national wrestling champ has amped up his game even more so with a TKO of Reese Andy and a one-kick knockout of Mark Munoz. Sean Sean is a very talented fighter, but he doesn't have a heart that I have. I'm going to win the fight. Coming up next, Matt Hamill takes on John Jones. Welcome back inside the Pearl at the Palms. Great light heavyweight fight. Our tale of the tape brought to you by Tap Out, an expression of combat known worldwide. Matt the Hammer Hamill, 11 years older than John Jones. Jones is such a big light heavyweight. 6'4, 206 pounds, an incredible 84 and a half inch reach. Almost a full 10 inches of reach advantage. With the official introductions, once again, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a perfect professional record of nine wins with no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 206 pounds. Fighting out of Endicott, New York, Johnny Bones Jones. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of eight wins, two losses. Standing six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 206 pounds, fighting out of Utica, New York, by way of Loveland, Ohio, Matt the Hammer! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Steve Mazzagatti. All right, John. Matt. All right, gentlemen, give us a good, clean, fair fight. Obey my commands. Protect self at all times. Now hook them up. Good luck. Matt the Hammer Hamill. Tito Ortiz said when he was the coach of Hamill, tremendous fighter, took me down more than any training partner ever. Always the underdog. And probably here tonight against the 22-year-old 9-0, right, John Bones Jones. Out, come on. Tonight's clock sponsored by UFC Undisputed. So you want to be a fighter? Jones, so creative, so athletic, Joe. He's very creative and very athletic, but I don't think he's ever faced a wrestler of Matt Hamill's caliber. And one of his strengths is his wrestling. He's got unorthodox strikes, and, and that also is one of his strengths, but a big part of his strength is his Greco-Roman skill. Now, in Matt Hamill, you're dealing with a three-time national champion, two-time world champion. Serious amateur wrestling credentials behind Hamill. Jones, a junior college national wrestling champion, Greco-Roman All-American. Don't forget, coming up next, new seasons of Mansers and A Thousand Ways to Die returning to Spike. So, little sneak peek immediately following our broadcast. First A Thousand Ways to Die, then we've got Mansers coming up immediately following the fights here tonight on Spike. We saw the improved striking of Hamill in his knockout of the night performance in his adopted home state of Ohio when he won in Columbus, born in Loveland, Ohio, suburb of Cincinnati. His striking looks much better, Mike. He, you see the way he's throwing these kicks, the way he's calm and relaxed as Jones is striking, his use of the jab. 
Jones with a nice right hand. Jones is very unpredictable and creative. Very nice body kick by Jones. Rich Franklin broke Matt Hamill down with some kicks to the body. <laughs> Hamill trying to throw the spinning back fist. Well, Joe, if you think about the first time we watched Matt Hamill strike on the Ultimate Fighter years ago, everybody kind of went, whoa. And now, to see how he has progressed with his striking, as you pointed out, is great. And Looking for the leg. Tries for that single, and unable to complete it. And that's a good sign for John Jones. Talking to Phil Nurse about John Jones. He's training full time at Team Jackson. In fact, he spent the last six weeks sleeping in the living room of the general manager of the gym. He said he's young, he's got all kinds of talent. I gotta start to teach him some strategy. Don't just throw it because you are able to do so physically. Set it up and make them count. I like how he does that. He touches down and spins with the elbow. That's what he hit Stefan Bonner with. Caught a kick, spun with the elbow. I mean, nearly an 85-inch reach, Joe. Good nice leg. leg kick. Goes for a head kick there. He's got the plug knee. knee to the body. Jones likes nice. the throws. Nice trip. There's some Greco. His timing is so good, Mike. Hamill's a double leg, takedown kind of guy, full mount. Trouble for Matt Hamill. Matt Hamill's in deep, deep trouble. Here. Big elbows from Johnny Bones Jones. And Jones is trying to finish this fight, Mike. Hamill is in huge trouble here. Full mount. He's taking some big elbows, Mike. Steve Mazzagatti right on top of the action. Two minutes left in round one. Look at that ground and pound. Man. Hamill doing nothing to, he really can't do anything to get out of the mount because he's dealing with the offense. He can't try to hip escape because if he gets his hands off of his face and his guard, he's going to take more shots. Johnny Bones Jones looking to finish this fight here in round one. Another big elbow. Hamill's bleeding bad, Mike. The hammer in survival mode here, Joe. And as you said, he can't improve his position. Yeah, he can't put his hips, his hands down on John Jones' hips. Jones is looking at Mazzagatti, Joe. Saying, yeah. all right, what, do you, what else you want me to do here? Yeah, but he, he's, he's not. Might be premature. Yep. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's trying to con him into stopping the fight. Right. And that's not going to work. Good elbow just glanced over the forehead of Hamill. Hamill has tremendous heart, and he will take these shots. Always right the now, underdog. he's blocking them. Yep. That's he's doing a good job. Big elbows. Can't no, elbow. he can't stop. do 12 to 6. Yeah, stand up. The up Hello, to man. down elbow from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock is illegal. One point. Downward. Now you want to know how ridiculous it is? This is why it's illegal, because when they were trying to pass the rules of the commission, you done? people in the commission had seen fights. He might be done. That's it. It's all over! Wow. Matt Hamill has been defeated by John Jones. Wow, yeah, he's bleeding bad into his eyes there. Look at that. It's pouring down the side of his face. I think his nose is smashed. What I was going to say is that the 12 to 6 elbow was made illegal because someone in the athletic commission saw those ice breaking demonstrations right, where a guy, right. and they said, well, that's too deadly to use in mixed martial <laughs> arts. So that's why that elbow, which is really not any more powerful than a side to side elbow or, or one that comes from another angle, that particular angle is illegal for that reason. It's pretty ridiculous. Well, the beginning of the end was with that great throw by the junior college national wrestling champion, Greco-Roman All-American, John Jones. That was really incredible because we've never seen anybody handle Matt that way on the ground. Joe Fight Replay All Night has been brought to you by Avatar. And then vicious elbows, vicious ground and pound. And that one to the head. See the nose split open? Yeah, his nose was really badly broken already, and it's bleeding into both eyes. And this That's is the, the, one, the yep. one that was deemed illegal. Still enough damage had been done prior, and Matt Hamill unable to continue. We've never seen anybody beat Matt Hamill up like this. He is truly... One of the rising stars in the octagon, John Jones. He is now 10 and 0. As the, oh wow, look at the nose of Matt Hamill. John Jones wins the fight. Bruce Buffer with the official decision.
They're still attending to Matt Hamill. Jones, 10-0 now. Ladies and gentlemen, referee career. Steve Mazzagatti has called a stop to this contest. Due to intentional elbows, there's been a disqualification of Johnny Bones Jones. Therefore, the winner is Matt Hamill. Wow. Unbelievable. They were going to take a point away. Instead, they take the win away. Jones defeated due to disqualification. Now watch it again. Joe talked about it. The 12 to 6 is the illegal elbow. Was that the one that truly ended the night of Matt Hamill? Doesn't matter because John Jones is disqualified. And he's just in utter shock and disbelief. And he doesn't want any applause. You know, the interesting thing was, as Joe said, how he manhandled Hamill and took him down. Nobody does that to the hammer. All right, I'm, I'm here with Matt Hamill. First of all, Matt, it's, it seems like something happened to your shoulder. Did your shoulder get dislocated somewhere in the fight? Um, I, cut, I cut the feather with one arm, but, but I tried to defend it. I knew I couldn't move my other arm. I, I cut my head off to uh... So you couldn't move your arm. At what point in the fight did that happen? Did it happen during the takedown? Oh, no, no, it just happened. Oh, it's left on the, on the mat. Now, uh, now, you won this fight by disqualification. The elbows that John Jones were hitting you with were illegal. Uh, give us your thoughts on, on, uh, on what, what it feels like to win this fight this way. Uh, I don't know. It happened so fast. I cut the fight with one arm, so uh, show, uh, Sean Sean did a really good job, you know, so I will come back. All right, Matt, we'll heal up. We look forward to seeing you again. Matt Hamill, ladies and gentlemen. Not the way he wanted to win. He's the one banged up fighter. Here's Joe with John Jones. All right, I'm here with John Bones Jones. I, I thought at the end of the fight that they were stopping it and that you were going to get the victory. You, you know, you were the first guy to really dominate Matt Hamill on the ground like that. Uh, you've got to, even though you walk away from this fight, a loss by disqualification, you've got to feel in a lot of ways that you won it. You know what? I've heard so many times that when you lose, you come back a better, stronger person. Uh, regardless of the outcome, God is still really good to me, and life is so great, and I'm just so grateful for being healthy and, and everything else. So everything happens for a reason. Well, that's a tremendous attitude, and you had a tremendous performance tonight regardless of the loss. We look forward to seeing you again. John Bones Jones, ladies and gentlemen. A uh, very classy young man, just 22 years old, and he will come back from this. He was dominant, and we will see John Jones again very soon. Coming up next.